Barack Obama and John McCain aren't the only ones being judged. Political analyst Tom Serafin, oh he knows, he's going to join us to tell us how the public feels about the two possible first ladies. Michelle Obama versus Cindy McCain. A new poll says the two women are about equally liked. Joining us is our political expert, Tom Serafin. Good morning to you. Let's morning. just break down the poll right now, starting with uh, Michelle Obama. 30% have a favorable opinion of her. 35% though have an unfavorable opinion about Michelle Obama. Why is that, do you think? Well, she, she's been active. You know, even Barack refers to his wife as feisty. So, I mean, but it, traditionally, the American people really want the presidential candidate to stand alone, that man to stand alone, or hopefully someday that woman to stand alone. You know, uh, the same way we wouldn't want to see Jim, I mean, uh, uh, President Clinton stand in front of Hillary, we don't want to see Michelle stand in front of Barack Obama. So, I mean, people love Barbara Bush, but she was uh, like a grandmother. Yes. She held the child to the uh, yes. bosom uh, and, and voters felt comfortable with her. They want somebody like a, a mother, somebody to be the mother of the country. I mean, on, on the flip side, 34% don't know who she is, so she's got room to correct that in balance. And a lot of that ha attributes to the fact that she was very active from the from uh, the podium during the campaign. What does she need to do? Does she need to change her appearance? Does she need to kiss more babies? Yes, she needs to be more of a mother. You know, a couple of weeks ago, she was out uh, bicycling with her child in Hyde Park. That was a beautiful shot where she's taking care of her children, where she's taking care of her family, where she's acting as a mother, where she's acting as a, a loyal housewife. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in this day and age, that's not necessarily what you want to do if you're a progressive woman, but if you want to get elected president, you've got to play the game, and that's the game. Cindy, on the other end, 56% of the country do, does not know who Cindy McCain is. So she's got a lot of room to go this way or that. That way, so whoever's going to frame Cindy McCain first, and I and I think the McCain campaign will, uh, will be a, you know positive there. Right now, she's got a lot of positives going. She's an heir to a lot of money. I mean, I right. think that family made their money on. Right? That's her Bush. That's right. Yeah. She inherited. So 17 percent unfavorable rating towards Cindy McCain. Yeah. But we don't know a lot about her, like you were saying. Right. 27 percent positive, 17 percent negative. She's got a lot of room to grow in any direction. And in this particular campaign, the winner is the one who frames the opposition. So you may see somebody mm -hmm. coming down the road here saying she's too wealthy. Uh, she spends too much money on American Express cards. I think she had a $100,000 uh, Express card bill, you know, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, what's she spending that money on? So, I mean, people may start coming at her that way and saying maybe she doesn't know how to budget and maybe their husband doesn't know how to budget. Which is fascinating altogether the big picture because as far as we have come in terms of women progressing on the national political scene, we still want them in terms of getting that middle vote to play the traditional value role. That's right. And, and, and there may be, a, a, you know, some issue here of color. Uh, because Barack Obama has made that crossover appeal. People are kind of concerned about the, uh, Michelle. One in eight uh, uh, African Americans think something positive about Cindy. Eight out of ten African Americans in this poll say something positive about Michelle. Oh, but Michelle's the kind of person you'd love to see your son. I got two sons. I'd love to see him bring somebody home like Michelle. Strong, vibrant, educated, uh, someplace to go. Uh, but the American public is not, just not ready for that. And finally, who would you uh, get more barbecue invitations to, Obama? Or who would get the most invites, or yeah. John McCain? Who you want to hang out and barbecue with, right? 52% for Barack Obama, 45% for John McCain. Very quickly, why is that? Well, you know, John McCain, you go to a barbecue, you want to have some fun. Hello. So what surprises me that there's only a 7% gap there. And if you take a look at the numbers underneath the numbers, more seniors want to be with McCain, more whites want to be with McCain, more blacks want to be with Obama, more young people want to be with Obama. So it's, it, a barbecue is a party. It's not necessarily yeah. the 3 o'clock phone call at the White House that push the red button. Uh, so that's the difference. People like the party just like they did with Bill Clinton, but they learned later on that that may not be the right person for the right. White House. So, so it's it's popular culture it has nothing to do with, you know, whether or not you're qualified yeah. for the White the House. The actual, that's right. Thank you right. so much, Tom. We do appreciate you joining us. Okay. Happy Fourth uh, to everybody. And yeah, to you, you as well. Right.